first kickoff meeting of uh, our Erasmus Plus uh, project. The Erasmus Plus title is Beyond the Emergency Telecare for Non-Communicable Diseases Through Simulation Technique. It is a project funded by the European Union and uh, together with other six uh, university institutions uh, as uh, University of the Eastern Piedmont. We are very proud to, uh, to be here today and to host this uh, important project and this important kickoff and first kickoff meeting. But uh, first of all, I would... Uh, give the word to our rector, Professor Giancarlo Avanzi, for uh, uh, greetings and uh, a welcome to this uh, kickoff meeting. Giancarlo. Thank you so much, Gianluca. I greet fraternally all the participants of this prestigious project which take place in a very sad and dramatic period for Europe and for the whole world. The aggression that President Putin and the Russian Federation are carrying out against Ukraine is unacceptable. The academic community is deeply opposed to war and express solidarity with the Ukrainian people. The collaboration of several European universities in this innovative Erasmus <clears throat> plus project is the best answer to those who want to divide Europe with cannon shots. COVID-19 revealed weakness in the healthcare system, especially in connection with the care of fragile patients, but also in the educational and training system. The pandemic crisis accelerated the adoption of distance simulation, making inclusive and high-quality multidisciplinary training possible. However, we need the strategies for improving teaching methods and the cleaning practice, both face-to-face -face and remotely. The BMTL training project has the ambitious goal of meeting the new healthcare needs, introducing innovative educational methods. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a fruitful job. Thank you Giancarlo for your words, very important because in this period we would continue to work. Nevertheless, uh, the situation around uh, all of you is so uh, complicated and, uh, uh, and tremendous. Uh, anxious uh, for all of us. And uh, after Giancarlo Avanzi, after our uh, rector, I would give the words to Francesco Della Corte. Francesco Della Corte is uh, our professor of anesthesiology and he is the chief and the director of our Simnova Center, the Center of uh, Simulation. And uh, he gives us uh, some uh, words of advice before starting the meeting. Francesco. Thank you very much, uh, Gianluca. Thank you very much to Giancarlo, Professor Giancarlo Avanzi. I personally second totally what he said about the difficult situation in uh, Europe. We fully hope that in the, in the next days, I hope also in the next hour, it will be uh, possible to see peace again uh, on uh, at the dawn of a, a new Europe. Uh, we are very afraid about that and we are supporting any care, any help that we can uh, give to this, uh, to improve this very difficult situation. Uh, it's very sad to, uh, to, to start this project with this uh, unfortunate um, situation. And we hope that in uh, our, pro our project will take care of that also. Anyway, uh, I am very happy to be here and uh, I will give you some reflection about, uh, you know, uh, the new frontiers of, um, of education and training. And I'm very happy to share all our knowledge with uh, all of you. It will be a real pleasure. And I think that uh, our uh, coordination will improve 
uh, also the uh, content and the way the methodology of uh, teaching in the specific uh, uh, setting of telemedicine uh, for um, uh, our students. So thank you very much for allowing me to give you my warmest uh, welcome. We will see in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Francesco. Thank you for your words. And then after Francesco, Professor Alberto Dalmolin. Professor Alberto Dalmolin is the Professor of Nursing of our, of our university. And in the conjunction, in a works together with, our, with the different uh, professional uh, setting, physician and nursing, we think that uh, we would able to create a new form of, uh, of, uh, of health for the future. So Alberto, we wait for your words. Thank you for, thank you. Uh, I am very happy uh, to be here. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, I would first of all uh, thank you for joining us uh, today and welcome uh, to this uh, kickoff meeting. Uh, with my uh, research group, uh, we have uh, some experience in uh, uh, telemedicine and in particularly in telenursing. We are carrying out uh, uh, one project uh, uh, to prevent the falls. Uh, with support, uh, uh, with the technology support uh, in elderly uh, people, uh, especially in Parkinson patients. Also, at the moment, uh, I am a PI in a cross-border interreg reaction project, where uh, the focus is uh, to develop uh, a network between the health providers. Uh, also in this case uh, with uh, technology. In uh, this project, uh, there are uh, five partners and uh, uh, the intervention will be introduced in three areas, uh, two in Italy and one in Switzerland. Uh, the focus of attention is uh, fall again and uh, solitude. I'm uh, very proud to work uh, on uh, this uh, project because uh, I believe that it is important that uh, healthcare professionals are uh, properly trained in the use of telemedicine. Good work. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you for your words. And then last, Professoressa Cristina Meini. Professoressa Cristina Meini is not a physician, is not a nurse, but uh, she is a philosophy. And uh, we think that uh, together, different disciplines are able to work together in order to create a new uh, system of health, not only from a physician point of view, but also from other point of view. So we are waiting uh, a important suggestion from uh, Christina and from all the philosophy. Christina. Thank you, Gianluca. Good afternoon and welcome to home, uh, to all. Um, I won't add uh, words towards uh, you have spent about war and peace uh, doing, I think that doing free research together is the best answer we can give. Uh, I am a member of the University of Easter Piedmont, and as uh, Gianluca said, I'm a philosopher. In particular, I'm a philosopher of communication and cognitive processes. Of course, uh, my discipline is not part of the core of the BMT uh, TEL project. However, I think that a complex initiative which uh, uh, calls into question different skills, different actors, and different places uh, clearly needs an analysis of a cognitive communication process aimed at making communication more flexible, uh, more effective, more understandable, but at the same time, some more rigorous. The student which, uh, who will be involved in, in our international master programs will be expert in some disciplines, but uh, they uh, will have to be in dialogue with other experts in, di in different, different disciplines, sometimes very, very different. And we have to make themselves understood by, and trusted by people who have a very different social, physical, cultural, and economic status. 
All this cannot be done without an analysis of communication that is grounded in the cognitive process involved. Thus, I think that my discipline will have a place that is not negligible at all. Uh, for me, there is a further um, um, uh, interest in uh, in uh, the in this uh, uh, in this uh, program. Uh, it is uh, it's uh, it's uh, multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary in nature. Uh, this is my story. I also I always work with with psychologists and also uh, with uh, physicians. And uh, this is uh, another, uh, a further um, very interesting uh, uh, initiative I am, I am involved with. Uh, um, this uh, persuasion that I always cultivated all my life long has recently found a, a, home, in, in, a home in, a, in the new Department of uh, Sustainable Development and Ecological Transition, which I am proud to say I, I am contributed to found. And, uh, and it is, I am sure that uh, this, uh, this is the name of the department, will work uh, in close contribution with, with DMET, which is the department where, where BMTEL is located. That does uh, thank you to everybody and good work at all. To all, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Cristina. So, at the end of this uh, first preliminary part, uh, our aim for the next uh, days would be work for peace, because uh, all of the speaker have underlined the moment we are. Uh, living in Europe in this moment. So we are working for peace and also for the improvement of the telecare and simulation techniques for non-communicable diseases. This is our main aim, main aim of the, of, of the our project. So I give uh, the, the, the words uh, uh, to Emiliano because uh, Emiliano Loria is the uh, the, 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 soul, the soul of this project because uh, he is uh, working a lot for the uh, projectuality and also for the, uh, now for the realization of the, of the project. So Emiliano, I give you the possibility to, to speak to all the, the, the participants and uh, uh, um, chair the, the next session. Emiliano, ciao. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Professor Ameretti. Professor Ameretti, I want to remember, is the scientific coordinator of our uh, project. So thanks. I'm the project manager of this important uh, Erasmus Plus project. It's the first time that um, uh, our department, the Department of Translational Medicine, win um, with a, a, an Erasmus Plus project. Uh, I would like to, to share now my, my screen, but uh, first of all, I would like to, to thank um, also uh, all the participants. And during this conference, we are going to uh, show the BIMTEL project beyond the emergency. This is the name, Telecare for Non-Communicable Disease Drug Simulation Techniques. And also we are going to present the strategic partnership. So thanks to UPO, to our new university, to the rector, Professor Avanzi, the, who is the legal representative of the project, to the European Commission. And also I would like to thank uh, Indire Agency for trusting and supporting the project. And interdisciplinary and also let me say intergenerational uh, project. And these dramatic days of war, I believe none of us would ever thought that our generations would again experience uh, uh, an armed conflict in the heart of Europe, especially after a, a, an epochal pandemic crisis. And BIMTEL was created as a response to COVID-19 pandemic crisis. It is a small, uh, we know, but I think significant uh, pilot contribution that we wish uh, will pave the way for further higher education training paths 
within our universities and our uh, associate partners. Uh, BIMTEL is the result of the many years of experience um, of our uh, uh, partners and years of experience in disaster medicine, especially carry on by all our partners, universities, such as WUPO, uh, that is the lead university, but also Ludwig Maximilian University uh, in Munich, the Department of Emergency Situation in Bucharest, University of Medicine, Pharmacy, Science and Technology in Targumuresh in Romania, and University of Thessaly, the National Center of Telemedicine, and the University of Applied Health Science in Zagreb, Croatia. Um, special thanks, I think, to our Romanian colleagues who are here today and in the next days of kickoff, we have the war front just a few hundred kilometers away. And as you all know, Romania, Hungary, Poland are leaving their borders open to receive and welcome Ukraine refugees. Bentil, I know I'm sure, will take into account this even unexpected dramatic scenario in the development of its design phases. I think that it would be not be so difficult, nor will it betray the spirit of our project because it is designed, as we shall see shortly, um, to provide theoretical and laboratory training for the health professional figures of tomorrow. And these professionals uh, will and must be, uh, we think, highly skilled in terms of technology, nursing, medicine, and also emotional support methodologies in order to be able to effectively assist both in presence and at distance, those patients will need continuous assistance and monitoring as non-communicable disease patients are. By overcoming the physical and logistical constraints of hospitalization, the skills of tomorrow's health workers need to be designed and improved. BIMTEL has the ambition to be the first step towards this important and I think crucial goal. Uh, as we know, COVID-19 revealed weakness in the healthcare system, especially with the care of fragile patients. And also, let me say, in the training system, which remains enabled to tackle the important challenge to reform treatment and monitoring patients. Efforts to contain COVID-19 pandemic raised the need to improve the quality of care for patients with non-communicable disease and mitigate the impact, not only for patients, but, only, uh, but just uh, also for families and society. If you think that by uh, 2050 in Europe, the proportion of older adults will most likely double from 11% uh, to almost 20, 22% of the total population, several diseases are associated as we know, with a progressive reduction in functional capacity leading to persistent need for care over time. So most of NCD are deeply connected with aging. And among uh, uh, non-communicable disease, uh, um, uh, we list the uh, type two diabetes, obesity, respiratory and heart disease, but also dementia, cancer, just to name uh, a few uh, diseases. And to guarantee efficient support for NCD patients, family members and caregivers, medical and psychological assistance will be increasingly decentralized at a territorial level. And fostering decentralization entails the implementation of an extensive healthcare network. Also, thanks to uh, the innovative technological tools. In this way, physicians, nurses, psychologists will require tomorrow, but also today, just already today, multidisciplinary training that includes digital skills and more specific practical clinical competencies. And given the main gaps highlighted in the G20 Digital Health Report, dated December 2020, it is time to strengthen training courses 
for additional skills so that NCD patients can be taken care of with telemedicine support at European level. The BIMTEL strategic partnership is very convinced that there is an urgent need to promote also strategies for improving teaching methods. It's the base, it's the first step to do in the clinical practice, both face-to-face -face and uh, remote. In the pandemic crisis, uh, if you have noted, accelerated this process of um, uh, the adoption of distance simulation for teaching and also for intervene and life simulation and clinical observation scenarios online uh, um, are more used and making an inclusive and high quality multidisciplinary training possible for a variety of recipients with social and economic difficulties, for example, but also for educational differences. Mm, healthcare simulation is one of the best, uh, we believe, pedagog pedagogical tools for medical education and consists of uh, techniques uh, that reproduce emergency medical situation, for example, in a secure teaching learning environment. So the role of simulation in healthcare education is to transition an academic learner, the students, uh, to a practicing clinician. That's the point that's very important for us. Uh, BIMTEL assumes that the uh, beneficiaries uh, will be uh, undergraduate students uh, are uh, obviously uh, still immersed in a learning path. And in this first stage of such learning, simulation method methodology uh, may mean uh, uh, to simplify the concept, uh, the strategies, and may demonstrate the impact of basic decisions on patient outcomes. So BIMTEL allows beneficiaries to start gaining high quality knowledge to address health challenges as future uh, professionals. And due to uh, the increasing aging population, soft skills are crucial to efficiently manage digital assistance, which will soon become one of the main form of care, but it's just uh, now the, 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 uh, an important form of care, uh, like uh, the Professor Dan Molin in the previous uh, talk is talking about this, uh, this important uh, new form of assistance. And practical teaching based on repeated simulation sessions has been already shown to foster knowledge acquisition and self assesses technical skills. So telesimulation tele represents a new teaching methodology whereby telecommunication and healthcare simulation are uh, combined together in order to provide effective educational uh, support. So we believe that telesimulation should also be used not only with the clinicians, but also with graduating students. But what does it mean? Telesimulation is a distance healthcare simulation method and consists of technologies to expand learning opportunities of such means. With limited resources and low costs, learners can benefit from advanced simulation tools. And during a standard telesimulation learning module, the participants are immersed in a simulated scenario experience. And uh, uh, once the lesson is uh, complete, the distance lesson is complete, learners reflect on their performance and the teacher sets at the briefing to identify mistakes or possible performance improvements. But how to reach this important and ambitious goal? The primary aim of BIMTEL is to build uh, organize and set up a European e-course on management of chronic conditions through telemedicine. It is dedicated to uh, future 215 participants. The e-course will last uh, almost one year from May 2023 to March 2024. And the final uh, uh, product will be a, um, a so-called transferability digital toolkit, a uh, big uh, and I think efficient and complete handbook about simulation and telemedicine.
three will be the micro topics to chronic disease, telemedicine, and health simulation, of course. And the Binton's target learners are will be undergraduates in medicine, nursing, uh, psychology, psychiatry, and we hope also biomedical engineer. Enrollment is also open to postgraduate students who have already graduated in medicine. And the selection criteria of 215 participants are very consistent with the uh, objectives of the Erasmus project you know, on social inclusion and equity. In fact, 50 learners will be selected from each uh, university component of the strategic partnership. BIMTEL will select uh, learners with different backgrounds and performance levels. The course uh, we know, uh, will be held in, in English, but several materials will be in the respective countries' languages. I mean, Italian, German, Greek, Croatian, and Romania. The participant selection will pay particular attention to promoting gender equality and addressing different underrepresented groups. And we envision also to engage 50 participants with fewer opportunities facing social and economic obstacles since the e course will be completely free. Uh, geographical obstacles, uh, uh, online materials and recording lessons will be provided. Have problems because uh, telesimulation is an inclusive methodology and finally educational difficulties because mm, we are able to provide also conceptual maps and multilingual materials uh, to uh, our future learners. The 80 hours uh, e-course will take place on a specific and dedicated digital platform, which will also house the deductive materials and these materials include papers, downloadable video lessons, short video tutorials, and finally, uh, at the end of the project, also the transferability digital toolkit. But also we will have live uh, simulation experience during two learning teaching training activities, during which 25 learners uh, um, will go to Novara, at Simnova Simulation Center, and other 25 learners will go to Munich at Human Simulation Center. But how to set up the Bampton League course? The Bampton project is articulated in five phases, or uh, as we name the uh, project result. The first project result uh, we are going to do is outline the curriculum for the management of chronic condition through telemedicine. The leader organization of the first project result would be is uh, University of Thessaly because the project result is just uh, has already begun and will end uh, at the beginning of July 2022. While the second uh, project result uh, um, in the in the second project result we are going to 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 design the content. Uh, so we have to uh, create the models of the European e-course. The leader organization will be the National Center of Telemedicine. And uh, um, this phase will last one year from April 2022 to March 2023. The third project results regards the creation of the digital platform. The leader organization will be UPO, the University of Eastern Piedmont. It will last uh, from uh, October 22 to the end of the project and beyond because the uh, digital plat platform will survive to the project. And mm, the fourth project result uh, consists of the delivery of the course uh, through the learning models and contents and the lead organization will be the uh, Ludwig Maximilian University Munich. It will last uh, almost one year from May 2023 to March 2024. And finally, the last but not least project results uh, regards the creation of the transferability digital toolkit and uh, in that uh, will include uh, educational resources of international best cases and good practices. Um, it will last uh, 
from April 2024 to November 2024. During the first project uh, uh, result, the goal is to identify and map the skills needed for the management of chronic illnesses. And uh, in the first phase is just uh, uh, concluded with the literary review. Now, uh, the second phase is just uh, to, um, is to be begin with the DELPI study that will be the methodology to gain um, the object to, to map and to identify the, the necessary competences to respond to the profile for future health professionals. And the last sub-activities of the project result, number one, is to um, involve some selected students uh, from the University of Thessaly and from our uh, Italian university, um, University of uh, Eastern Piedmont. In the second uh, project results, uh, um, we have to, to plan uh, each module um, will have, we will have uh, 116 hours of e-course, but uh, divided in this way, uh, um, 18 hours of a blended course, and then plus uh, 18 hours of learning, teaching and training activities uh, divided in uh, two parts, C1 and C2. And the C1 will be in Novara and C2 will be in Munich. And each model will be prepared by two partners and each model implementation will have a, a specific uh, tutor. Also the PR2 has three sub-activities and the second is particularly important because it regards the, uh, the selection, um, or, I mean, the beginning of selection of uh, our future learners and for medicines, nursing, psychology and psychiatry, and we have also biomedical engineer uh, degree course. And um, the project number three, finally, is the creation of the digital platform. And it will be a large container of materials in several languages and a virtual place uh, under permanent monitoring from the online lessons to the endouts from the actual enrollments uh, of the participants to the, to the forums where they, uh, the, the students uh, will have the opportunity to discuss among peers and ask clarification to teachers and tutors. Uh, um, so the digital platform ensures the, the, the course proper enjoyment for all participants and also for the teachers. After Structuring the course into modules, creating the contents, and finally select the participants. Uh, and we have finally the e course delivery. Um, consists of a theoretical part structure, as I uh, said before, in 80 hours plus two LTTA, that learning and uh, teaching training activities. Uh, so the total hours amount, I repeat, is of the entire course. Uh, uh, is uh, 160 hours uh, of live streaming lectures, uh, webinars, recording lessons, and a series uh, of videos, textual handouts uh, av available um, to our participants. But also uh, in the future, uh, uh, all these materials, uh, anyway, almost uh, the, the most part of these materials will be available also to uh, um, completely free to the audience and interest people. The materials uh, uh, will be in English, uh, but also in the language of the respective five countries. Then the final uh, project result uh, from, from uh, uh, particular point of view is the, uh, is the most important because I think that this is the rendering of this long uh, uh, activity. Um, it consists of the creation um, altogether uh, of the transferability digital toolkit. Um, it will present uh, tools, models, best practices, clinical cases related to chronicity management using uh, telemedicine. And uh, it is intended also to be a useful tool for students, uh, but also for those people involved in health education in various ways. 
So uh, the digital toolkit brings together documents and resources useful for a teacher and researchers who will support research and teaching activities um, related to chronicity, but also uh, to health simulation methodologies and the new tools of telemedicine. Mm. In particular, uh, the uh, Croatian University, the University of Applied Health Science uh, will be the leader, but uh, all the partners uh, uh, will be involved in the construction, in the editing of this digital toolkit. Um, and finally, uh, I have to say, digital toolkits do intended uh, to, to provide inspiration, yes, and guidance uh, for, for trainees, for uh, uh, actual students, but also for the uh, professionals, uh, uh, why not? As a real reference handbook, uh, that can be used to consolidate the attitudes of critical judgment in dealing with patients with chronic disease. But uh, BIMTEL um, pragmatically um, has also uh, strong limitations. And um, the most important strong limitation, I have to say, that is um, concerned the fact that BIMTEL cannot issue any European uh, certification. Anyway, uh, the individual universities uh, will recognize the course uh, in the form of credits, for example, or in other forms that we will determine together. We have already had the opportunity to discuss this topic within the partnership in several internal uh, meetings. And so I can guarantee that there will be no obstacles uh, to the implementation of this real particular internal recognition within uh, each individual academic institution. BIMTEL um, is a pilot course. It's just, it, it, it wants to be just a starting point. So uh, we as partnership sincerely hope um, that e-course will be adopted by the strategic partnership universities uh, uh, after the end of the uh, BIMTEL um, pilot um, path and also uh, by academic institution of our associated partners. We sincerely hope that in long term BIMTEL results, the project results may reach wider audience, learners and teachers that can uh, use our, our platform and our website and all the materials that uh, um, these um, tools will contain. But the long-term success impact uh, is, uh, first of all, the survival of the Pinter platform beyond the end, the end of the project. Uh, in fact, we have written and we have claimed that the Pinter platform will survive, must survive other five years uh, after the end of the project in November 2024. Uh, it's important because uh, the survival allows the promotion of digital toolkit, so the dissemination and the, the, the life and the, the rendering of our long uh, uh, project quality. And it, it will be possible and reasonable um, to be because there are low running costs to keep the site up and uh, updated. And um, the second term, the second factor is the involvement of the associated partners to extend the application of the BIMTEL education model and improve e-course. We are very proud that we have a lot of associated partners, uh, 27 um, particularly. Uh, I, here in this slide, uh, I would like to uh, mention the Italian associated partners. Um, the hospital, the Novara Hospital, Azienda Ospedaliera Universitaria, Maggiore di Novara, uh, the general director, Dr. Roberto Sacco, the National Federation of Nursing Professions Order, uh, President Dr. Uh, Dottoressa Barbara Mangiacavalli, the Order of Psychologists of the Piedmont Region, the President uh, Dr. Giancarlo Marenco, the U Humanitas Universities, um, with the Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Giorgio Ferrari, uh, University, L'Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore, in particular the Director of Psychology Department, uh, uh, Professor Antonella Marchetti, Department of Dynamic and Clinical Psychology and Health Studies, 
by Sapienza, University of Rome, and in particular, the coordinator of the doctorate in dynamic and clinical psychology, Professor Carl Lai, but also the psychiatry rehabilitation techniques DP course from Sapienza, University of Rome, and the director, uh, Professor Massimo Pasquini. Um, we have also the regional coordination of the Order of Nursing Professionals of Piedmont, uh, President Dr. Massimiliano Ciretti, and the Order of Interprovincial Nursing Professionals, President Dr. Paola Sambini, and National Association of Hospital Cardiologists, ANCO, President uh, Dr. Domenico Gabrielli. Thanks to Associated Partners, thanks for your uh, warm uh, attention. Um, now uh, I would like to uh, give the, the floor to uh, our Professor uh, Francesco Della Corte, Director of Sinopa Ubo uh, Center. Mm -hmm. Perché se mi dice questo cazzo di cosa, perché mi dice così? We, we can hear uh, Professor sure. Della Corte. No, 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 I don't And have... we, we said the slide, yes, it's all uh, as, right. Uh, as usual, it works. I have the always problem in get connected now. It's uh, because unfortunately I'm not a a beginner, I am a beginner. I am not a, uh, how can you call it, a, a native, um, a native, um, um, a digital. <laughs> digital, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm, I'm aging. And in this way, I'm, I'm becoming worse and worse, you know. And so, but anyway, <laughs> so I'm uh, very pleased to be here and to, to give you, uh, uh, to be the first speaker telling about something. Uh, we are doing here in Novara, and uh, my uh, lecture will be about the role of Signova in the BMTEL uh, teaching activities. Uh, I'm serving in this uh, position as a director of um, the Signova, and um, I will try to give you in, uh, in the rest of my slides uh, some information about who we are and which um, our role will be uh, in, in this project. Uh, I'm very happy to uh, participate to, to these, these activities because I truly believe that what we will be dealing with uh, is very important for the future of communication, for opening uh, and other aspects that was uh, not really taken in a good collaboration, in a good implementation, uh, that's to say um, distance learning and telemedicine that will be very important for the students of the future. Um, this is the team that is working in Novara. I'm pleased to be um, the uh, director of the center. Um, we have um, uh, two technicians, uh, that is uh, Francesco Salvi and Antonio Scalonia, uh, and you can refer to them um, uh, for anything you need in, uh, in uh, case of uh, uh, e-learning and distance learning implementation. Uh, we will have also some nurses working with us, um, Alessia and um, uh, Rosaria. They were deployed um, uh, out of their duties of nurses uh, directly to the activities inside the uh, no fear. And they are taking care of all the education uh, for uh, nurses uh, in our center. We have also a psychologist that is working with us, is uh, Michela Bernardini, and uh, uh, our secretary, but I call her our executive manager, is uh, Aurora uh, Falcone, that uh, we'll talk later. And um, she is, in fact, the, the in, inner soul of uh, the activities of, uh, uh, of Simnova. Uh, just a brief history about, uh, about us. Sinova was uh, founded in uh, June 2014 uh, at the University of Eastern Piedmont uh, by the, uh, the School of Medicine. Uh, our uh, activities are um, focused in aiming to increase competence and collaboration among the various disciplines uh, represented in it. 
in order to better use the common human and technological capital with reference to university and non-university training with the application of new teaching technologies in the various health professions. I uh, prefer to read it because uh, this is the core of our business. And uh, it's, uh, I, would, I, would, uh, uh, I would have avoided to uh, say uh, not perfectly what we are uh, aiming at in our center. Um, we, uh, the history um, was uh, formalized in uh, 2014, but um, we started to work on, uh, on Simnova uh, when I moved from, uh, from Rome. Um, uh, where I was working until uh, 2000. And from 2001 to 2006, we started already some simulation activities in a, in a small hospital that is uh, close to our main hospital. And we started in, uh, in uh, two rooms in the underground of this old hospital. Uh, and the space, and the, the, the number of um, um, uh, people needing edu education and also the external uh, vision of uh, our center uh, attracted uh, the university and uh, the past uh, rector and the past director of the um, uh, department of, uh, uh, of uh, translational medicine, the, the department where, where, where I joined to, to renew teaching materials, staff and stuff, and uh, to try to implement the activities of simulation and training in our university. So we move in um, in another building, in another building that you I will be very pleased to um, uh, to make you see when you will be uh, with us uh, next year um, to uh, to uh, held uh, all our activities in um, in the in, at the fourth floor of this uh, building uh, is about uh, four hundred meters uh, large. And we had at that time four didactic rooms and one advanced simulation room. And uh, from uh, um, the 2018, we uh, add in our um, surface also the uh, other the other part of the fourth floor, uh, doubling uh, the uh, surface of our uh, of our um, Simnova, uh, where we had. A, a, a new simula advanced simulation room, a wide repository for all the new didactic tools, and also some new teaching rooms. In uh, 2020, um, uh, based on a deliberation of uh, 2019 uh, by the university, by the governor of the university, we uh, 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 invaded, I can say, also the third floor, and uh, adding another 400 meters square uh, square meters in uh, at the third floor, where we had uh, other uh, activities: uh, one mini flat for home emergencies, and one didactic room, one locker room, toilets, uh, wet simulation, the briefing room, virtual anatomy laboratory, skill stations, um, uh, simulation room, and repository. So this is the final version. The final. Um, uh, surface of our uh, center is about 1,200 square meters. So it, uh, it has become very big, and, uh, but the activities that we are managing in uh, the, this last uh, uh, year is, uh, is very, very high. Unfortunately, as uh, probably all of you, the pandemic uh, stopped um, for, for, for many months the activities, but now we are restarting in a very um, uh, huge way. Uh, which are our activities here at Simnova? We are um, managing institutional activities for our universities, uh, our university, either for nurses and for uh, medical students and for residents. Uh, we are um, dealing with uh, teaching activities for uh, regional surrounding hospitals, for private hospitals and clinics of the region and also for public uh, associations. Um, we have also some commercial activities, but this is not our um, uh, most important uh, uh, target. Uh, if, but if somebody asks us to uh, uh, provide uh, their uh, attendees, attendees for um, education, we consider their application. Uh, we have also um, a space for small conferences, 
not for big conferences uh, or big um, uh, congresses, but uh, for small conferences. We are engaged also in uh, public engagement and also we started also uh, some project of research. Uh, Sinova uh, acts according to the directives of the Ministry of the University uh, and Research, uh, trying to um, emphasize the importance of simulation in training of uh, future health professionals. And um, this objective uh, was widely supported by our university, which has included the simulation in its teaching regulation and in the strategic plan of the university. And uh, it's written in the rules of our university, either for nursing schools, for medical schools, uh, for other courses, like for, for example, for the physiotherapy school, um, it's written in specific articles that the simulation is uh, to be delivered for these students. Our vision uh, is the same of the university we are uh, in, in embedded, um, that is uh, to pursue excellence and innovation in research and teaching, uh, placing the students at the center of these initiatives and stimulating the contagion of ideas and knowledge and interdisciplinary. So uh, this is uh, written also in, um, in the strategic point of development of uh, the uh, comma free uh, that is supporting uh, the use of uh, innovative teaching methodologies. So this um, um, specific project uh, really well uh, um, uh, is, can be uh, well englobed in, englobed in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, the university activities. Uh, we have some uh, many learning activities, uh, as most of you probably do have, CPR, pediatrics, uh, general and obstetrics, and obstetrics emergencies, echography, train the trainer course, um, uh, courses for GPs, um, surgery, uh, wet, uh, wet simulation, so-called wet simulation and disaster and military medicine. We organize also some um, uh, national and international um, uh, exam examinations and, um, and organization of uh, um, uh, some uh, challenges among um, uh, uh, residents from all over Europe. And this happened, for example, for the SYNCAP that uh, gathers together people from the emergency medical, uh, emergency medicine school. Uh, and uh, we, had, uh, we had about uh, 500 people joining to, uh, to this uh, SYNCAP. And uh, we have also a simulation, uh, another challenge uh, for, pediat for pediatricians. And, um, and also for uh, 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 ENT. Uh, you see that uh, we stopped in uh, 2019 because of uh, the, uh, the editions of 2020 and 2021 were, were not uh, uh, done they, because it was impossible to organize them uh, during the, um, uh, during the, the pandemic. Uh, as regards public engagement, uh, we usually are committed to taking simulation out of the classroom, organizing events and involving citizens. You know, there, here there are some of the activities that we have done for public engagements, for example, the, the night for researchers, uh, that is for uh, the um, uh, citizens of the town of uh, Novara, Vercelli, and Alessandria, where our university is based. Uh, we started also uh, CPRs for medical beginners and first responders and also of, um, for training events for the general population, even in the elementary and secondary uh, classes. And we had also another uh, event that is uh, the so-called open day, where we try to attract, uh, attract students and young generation to, uh, to enroll in uh, in our uh, in our university, uh, we are doing also some uh, research thesis for students and uh, and uh, residents. Scientific research. We are now developing, for example, a new type of uh, a task for uh, non-invasive ventilation. National research project and international national and international scientific society. 
uh, um, activities with them, conferences, and also uh, scientific publication. Uh, our website has some of the publication, the most important publication that we have done in the team, in the team of uh, of uh, uh, simulation in medicine. Our uh, future perspective are to maintain the, uh, our interest to expand um, the activities of Sinova in, in, uh, um, uh, to other specialists, uh, to other specialists and specialization. Uh, we are moving, for example, to nephrology. We are moving to surgical simulation activity, implementation of activities in physiatrics and, uh, and uh, physiotherapy. Um, we are looking also, and we have already we have already planned some courses for the GP education using telemedicine and um, some some other uh, non medical health, health discipline. I would uh, go on uh, briefly to speak uh, what uh, about what the role of uh, Sinova uh, in uh, the BIMTEL will be. Uh, uh, the role of Sinova is embedded in two main phases as a simulation center, even if there are some activities uh, developed by NOT and uh, managed in, uh, in our center as a dissemination, for example, as a control of quality, and uh, also for the, uh, the course that we, uh, in the first and second edition, will be uh, in, uh, in Novara and in Munich. And about the, the two main projects at the beginning will be the creation of a dedicated uh, digital platform for the e-course, um, where the uh, the course where the, the, that course will be held, and the name of the course will be the European Profiles for Future Health Workers in the Management of Chronic Condition through Telemedicine, and also uh, in part four of the project that is the platform testing. Uh, uh, here I reported the, uh, the, the main point that will be the, the backbone of uh, this uh, uh, number three part of the project. Uh, the creation of educational modules and relative content will be delivered by the University of uh, uh, um, uh, Telasoniki. Um, uh, we will we will put those uh, contents inside the digital platform, and uh, we will try to make it uh, 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 to make all this material the most uh, interactive and interesting um, for the um, for the participation of the students of the course, and um, uh, it will be a large container of materials in different languages and a virtual. Um, uh, permanent uh, monitoring of uh, what uh, about the activities that will be uh, done uh, on that. And uh, after that, uh, we will try to uh, develop, you know, contents uh, uh, called telesimulation, like live online lessons, uh, video representing simulation scenarios of telecare assistance, virtual mobility venue, webinars open to the citizenship, to students, to staff of all the, uni uh, of all the university involved. It will be also possible to take exams and tests for all the students participating to the project. Uh, there will be also a repository of questionnaire, the promotion of events organized by the university and partner centers, a forum for students and correspondence, uh, and correspondence with lectures, teaching aids in the European language, Virtual Square for the Virtual Multiplier Events, publication of the Transferability Toolbook, and also participation to the dissemination of the project. Um, after that, in, uh, in project results uh, number four, there will be the platform testing uh, that will be uh, elaborated by the German partner, uh, which will be the leader organization of this uh, uh, work package. And we will collaborate for checking the material, for uploading and the platform uh, survival, and also specific videos and text to our contents that will be uh, made available for anyone, anybody who wants to participate to the, to the classes or um, in the, after the, uh, the, 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 the closing of um, the closure 
of the uh, of the project will be uh, the opportunity and the possibility to enter the uh, the, the, the the platform um, in uh, in the next meeting in in in, uh, in two days uh, I will have another lecture where I will try to give an overview of what will be exactly done on the platform uh, using the uh, assess that we have now uh, for another course that uh, will have the same characteristics that have as the same characteristics of what our project will be. That is the platform that we use for the European Master in Disaster Medicine that has been created by our group for the university, and that um, is uh, a lifetime of uh, 22 years. So we got a lot of experience about that, trying to implement and ameliorate. Uh, our activities on the web. So uh, follow the 50 minutes that I will have to show you uh, how that platform is working and how it will be for us in the future. So here I finish my presentation. Uh, I hope not to have annoyed you too much. Um, and uh, if you want to have any point of contact uh, with us, uh, you can uh, reach our website, um, our activities on the Facebook, and uh, also the activities of Sinova um, on the web. So if you want to reach me uh, directly, you can easily find, uh, find your, my email address on, uh, uh, on, the, on the website uh, of this project or on the website of the EMVM um, website. So thank you very much for allowing me to give this uh, presentation. And um, uh, we will see uh, in two days, and we will see also a lot of time during the development of the project. OK. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Professor De La Corte, for your presentation. Uh, Simnova is the one of the pillar of our project, so it's very important. Thanks, thanks again. It's a pleasure now. Uh, to give the floor to Professor Evangelos Fradelos um, from University of Thessaly and Nursing uh, Department. So uh, please, uh, Evangelos, if you want to, uh, to start your talk about your university and your uh, department and the activities, um, specific activities uh, of your department in our project. Thank you, thank you very much, Dr. Loya. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say that uh, me and my team were very pleased to be here today and to be a part in a member in this alliance. Uh, this alliance that is consisted by distinguished uh, scientists and to participate and contribute to this ambitious project. Thank you very much. Um, I will begin my presentation now. So, um, university, a few words uh, about my organization. First, uh, I, will, I will begin with uh, some information about my organization. University of Thessaly was founded in 1984. It is a permanent institution of higher education, aiming to promote scientific knowledge and, uh, and through teaching and research and to contribute to cultural and economic development of the local community and the society at large. It, promo it promotes scientific and academic excellence in all fields of expertise and rewards outstanding individual performance, establishing new scientific research units and fostering environment and that supports innovative actions. In this picture, this picture depicts all our collaboration all over the world uh, the collaboration that our university has. University of Thessaly is located in central Greece, uh, mainly in Thessaly region, and is uh, divided in five large uh, cities of uh, um, central Greece. Namely, is uh, located in Volos, Lamia, uh, Karditsa, Trikala City, and Larissa City, that is uh, the base of nursing department. University of Thessaly has 37 departments and eight schools, and it is, it is the third 
biggest university in Greece with his own identity, with, uh, with a permanent position to our national educational system. University of Thessaly provides 105 undergraduate and postgraduate programs and extracurricular modules in a specific research and business field. It has more than 42,000 undergraduate, undergraduate students, um, uh, 4,000 and uh, for almost, uh, more than 4,000 uh, postgraduate students and uh, 1,000 uh, PhD students. It also has 1,000 members of teaching and research staff and um, 450 members of administrative personnel. It's, uh, it is known for his excellent research performance and now studied scientific achievements in accordance with the national standards. Uh, the excellent equipped lab laboratories and uh, of the different department and research units have a member of well-trained research to support them. Uh, the schools and the, the departments of our university, as uh, it was mentioned, we have eight schools. It's schools of humanities and social science with the departments of primary education, early, early childhood education, special education, history, archaeology, archaeology and social anthropology, culture, creative media and leadership and language and intercultural studies. We also have a school of engineering with the department of uh, architecture engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, planning and regional development and electrical and computer engineering, school of agricultural science, department of um, agriculture core production and rural environment, ichthyology and aquatic environment, agrotechnology, animal science, food science, and human nutrition. Uh, we also have um, a school of health science uh, dep with departments of medicine, biochemistry and biotechnology, nursing department, public, public and integrated health, physiotherapy, and veterinary science. Uh, we have a school of technology with department of energy system, environmental science, digital systems, fostering and wood science and design. We have a School of Economic and Business with Department of Economics, Accounting and Finance, as, as well as a Department of Business, Business Administration. We have a School of Physical Education and Sports Science with Departments of Physical Education, Sports Science, Nutrition and Dietetics. And finally, we have a School of Science with Department of Computer Science and Biomedical Informatics, Computer Science, Physics and Mathematics. The School of Medicine, it is uh, the School of Health Science. It is located mainly in Larissa. It has a School of Medicine, a Department of uh, Biochemistry and Biotechno uh, Biotechnology in Larissa also. The Faculty uh, Department of Nursing in Larissa also. The Faculty of uh, Public and Integrated Health in Karnitsa, Department of Physiotherapy in Lamia, and the Faculty of uh, Veterinary Science in Karnitsa. Uh, sorry, Professor Fra Frados, uh, Evangelos, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, we see only the first slide, uh, but mm -hmm. you are proceeding, are you proceeding with the yes, other slides? Yes, yes. Um, but uh, uh, we have the, the, the screen fixed uh, on the first slide. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I will oh, don't try to worry. share my screen again. Uh, yes, try to share the full screen of the slide. Yes, in this screen. Yes, yes. No, yes. no, 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 oh, no. Okay, I'm so sorry. So, uh, nursing department is located in Geopolis campus in Larissa. This is our campus. Sorry. Okay. Um, the facilities of uh, this campus include more than classroom, fully equipped laboratories, a new library hall, uh, uh, halls of residence, auditorium, restaurant, multi-sport gymnasium and conference center, as well as excellent electronic services. We provide students with the M learning resources and access to unlimited resources of information and knowledge through the library and the database network. This is the central library and its resources meets the educational and research needs of all users, members within the University of Thessaly community. There are eight halls of residence we may, uh, which may provide accommodation to almost 600 Greek and foreign students. Uh, a, st a student's restaurant in the campus is less than five minutes from the hall of residence and uh, almost the, in the same uh, 
the same uh, distance from uh, most of the um, schools and departments within the Geopolis campus. Uh, and provides meals, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner free of charge for many of our students. We have a sports center. The sports center also lies in this campus area, in the Opolis campus area. This offers weekly indoor classes for fitness and um, as well as other outdoor activities for, free, for free, free or charge. In addition, the center organizes monthly trips and sports activities to Greek countryside with a very, a very low, low rate. Uh, a cardiovascular examination is required to be a member in our sports center. Also, uh, students are entitled to free medical and health care under the Greek national health care system, uh, uh, unless otherwise insured, as long as they are studying in the uh, University of Thessaly. The health center lies in the main building in the Oculus campus, and doctor and nurse are available during all weekdays. Uh, we also have inside the campus cafeteria and ski kiosk for uh, our students. And this uh, now will present the Department of Nursing, uh, the study uh, with the, which is also located within the Geopolis campus. The study program of the uh, Department of Nursing is divided in uh, eight semester and includes compulsory and optional comp uh, compulsory uh, courses. Uh, as a part of the uh, curriculum includes laboratory tutoring and clinical exercises that uh, complement the educational progress of uh, process of some computer, com computer sorry, uh, courses. The nursing department of the University of Thessaly is housed in the new building of the School of Health Science in the area of Geopolis. The building facilities are also accessible for people with disabilities. We offer a nursing degree. We also offer two postgraduate courses, master courses, uh, that are coordinated with a uh, School of Medicine of uh, University of Thessaly, one in primary health care and uh, the second in bioethics. We also uh, offer um, PhD studies and uh, are, um, we also offer some lifelong learning courses like school nursing specialization, blended learn, uh, training program for hyperbaric oxygen therapy and diving accidents, and a, a specialization in diabetes care. These are our educational laboratories. Um, we have, um, we are implementing uh, simulator, simulation uh, techniques within our educational uh, uh, process. Uh, these are some pictures in, uh, in action, along with in teaching classroom. And these are the members of our team. Uh, me, uh, my name is Evangelos Fradelos and I'm assistant professor of clinical nursing. And I am the content person of UTH team for this Problem and Tell project. Uh, Ioana uh, Papathanasiou is associate uh, professor of community psychiatry and nursing. Uh, she's, she's a member in dissemination uh, group uh, for Problem and Tell Alliance and head of our uh, department. Um, uh, professor uh, Fotini uh, Mali, a pulmonologist, is also associate professor, uh, an associate professor in our department. It's a, it is a member of our research team. Elias Valiakos, that is a specialized teaching staff in history of therapeutics, member of the tutoring group. Areti Hadji is a research associate of the Community Nursing Lab, also has administrative duties within the Community Nursing Lab of UDH and member of quality management group. Uh, Dimitrula Michi, that is a school nurse and research associate in, of the community nursing lab, a member of a tutoring group. And Elias Panagiotopoulos is a mechanical engineer and um, has an aeronautic uh, graduate. And it is a PhD student in our department. He's also a member of the tutoring group. As it was mentioned by Dr. Loria early, earlier, uh, our uh, first uh, and main uh, task in this uh, project is the project uh, results in the first project results, that is 
uh, the uh, entitled uh, of outlining the cu curriculum of management of chronic conditions through telemedicine. The goal of this uh, output is to identify and map the skills needed for the management of chronic illness through telemedicine. And it is uh, divided in three parts. The first part, after a literature review, we will identify them uh, the uh, skills that are needed in order to provide uh, adequate uh, healthcare uh, for patients with chronic diseases through telemedicine. Uh, we will uh, identify those competencies and skills and we will map them and uh, we will conduct a Delphi study in order to find the most uh, necessary uh, skills that must integrate it in our course. And we also uh, conduct some uh, focus group in order to um, the, the uh, e course be uh, focused on uh, the learners. In other, in other uh, project results that the uh, UTH, UTH team participates, it's this in the second, in the development of European e-course on management of chronic conditions through telemedicine, in which we are, we are responsible for um, providing uh, and developing and providing uh, educational material for this uh, e-course. And of course, uh, in the delivery of the European uh, e-course in which uh, so, uh, selected students from UTH will participate in the in the uh, in the course. As far as uh, regarding the associated partners of uh, UTH team, we have uh, associated partners from healthcare, such as healthcare facilities, such as the Scati Health Center, which is a primary healthcare facility located in rural Greece that provides primary healthcare for a large uh, proportion of uh, population. Uh, Elasona Health Center, also a primary healthcare facility located also in rural Greece. The Thessalian Association for Mental Health and Care and Rehabilitation, offering a wide range of um, uh, services for uh, psychiatric patients and the medical project uh, that offers recovery, uh, the, the medical project recovery and rehabilitation center here in Larissa. Also, we have associated partners uh, that are regulatory bodies and scientific organization mainly for nurses, such as Hellenic Regulatory Body of Nurses and the Association of uh, Nurses of Psychiatric Hospitals of national healthcare system in uh, prefecture of Attica. Finally, we have associated partners that are research laboratories and other departments, such as the Laboratory of Cardiopulmonary Testing and Pulmonary, Pulmonary Rehabilitation, that is a part of the Department of Respiratory Medicine, uh, of Faculty of Medicine in, of University of Thessaly, Department of uh, Respiratory Medicine that is, is located in uh, the University Hospital uh, of uh, Larsa and the Laboratory of Integrated Healthcare uh, of the nursing uh, from the Nursing Department of University of uh, Peloponnese. Those associate partners are, um, are about to uh, exchange the experience and the expertise during and after the project. They will participate in the dissemination of the project information, promotion in, uh, of the information about the project uh, to our network, uh, network uh, to their network and context, and contribution to the exploration and sustainability of uh, the project results. Uh, last but not least, uh, in Larissa, UTH will host the transnational meeting and the e multiplier event uh, that is uh, estimated to uh, held in June of 2022. Those are the pictures uh, of our city, and we are uh, excited to uh, and we are excited to uh, host you. And uh, some contact information in in case that someone has. Uh, injury or something like that. 
thank you very much for your attention. Thanks, Evangelos. Thanks a lot for your presentation, the presentation of your university. I look forward to, uh, to visiting your university in June or July. When June we or July, yes. The, yes, transnational meeting, I think, on June 2022. Um, so um, I would like to, to, to make a break, if you are uh, agree, um, and see you in, uh, in 10 minutes. Uh, then uh, kickoff will um, start again with the presentation of our dissemination group, and then we will have also uh, a room to, to, to questions uh, and make uh, um, debates uh, about uh, our topics. So uh, thanks a lot, to everyone, and see you in uh, 10 minutes uh, at uh, 14 past three. Uh, thanks a lot. So now welcome to welcome to kick off uh, uh, meeting uh, Bimtel, uh, th the first kick off of the Bimtel project beyond the emergency Erasmus Plus uh, uh, project. Uh, now uh, we, we are finished, but uh, um, the last uh, uh, we want to present. Um, the dissemination group. Bemtel, in fact, uh, has different, several um, working uh, groups. Uh, one of these uh, group is dissemination group. And uh, we have also the tutoring group. We have also the quality management, but we see in the days later and the next uh, two days of the kickoff. Um, first of all, I would like to um, present the, the dissemination group that is a very close knit group that managed to, to set up uh, the promotion machine in a very uh, short time. And I'm going to describe some of our activities in details uh, later on, but in the meantime, I would like to thank the UPO team very much, um, composed by uh, Carmela uh, Rinaldi. Um, she is a research associate in the prevention and health promotion at UPO. She's currently coordinating several training programs and research projects on health and aging and lifestyle medicine. She apologized to be absent um, here today with us, but I will uh, present uh, uh, some her slide about the aging project. Uh, it's a very important uh, project. Uh, by our department, uh, the Transnational Medicine Department of uh, UPON. But then we have uh, Aurora Falcone, Administrative and Logistic Coordinator at Simnova Simulation Center. She's responsible for coordinating the organization of training courses, equipment usage, personal support, logistical tasks related to research program. And then Antonio Scalonia, technologist at Sinova, he takes care of the technical and IT health simulations, providing support for lessons, uh, uh, courses and events organized by Sinova, just like the, this uh, kickoff. Um, now, I thank very much uh, uh, UPO, UPO team of Dissemination Group and uh, would uh, like to give the floor to Aurora uh, Falcone so uh, she can present and show the uh, dissemination activities of uh, Sinova. Uh, please, Aurora. Thank you, Emiliano. Give me only one second so I can share the screen. Okay. Okay, so good morning, everybody, and thank you for you for joining us today in this kickoff meeting. I'm Aurora Falcone, and I'm the Administrative and Logistics Coordinator at Simnova, the Simulation Center of uh, Easter Piedmont University here in Novara. In the Dental project with my colleague, Dr. Antonio Scalogna, we are part of the Project Dissemination Group. Due to the experience in planning the dissemination activity for our simulation center. As Professor de la Corte presented before, Simnova is a university simulation center with the aim of the development of training programs for our students. We have medical students, nursing students, 
um, and but also we provide training programs for healthcare professionals. Um, and for all the companies interested in simulation programs. Our dissemination experience starts from identifying the audience and how we can reach our audience, them in the best way and in the most effective way. During this year, we have implemented our dissemination tools and we use these tools in different ways related to our audience. Our main dissemination channels are the website and obviously the social media as Facebook or Instagram. We create the Simnova newsletter in 2018, more or less after four years from the foundation of our simulation center, because we need time to collect contacts, to, to collect people interested in our activities and also to collect contents, um, a significant number of events uh, in order to be able to go out twice a month with our newsletter. And uh, for particular and specific events, we will use also radio or TV programs, especially local radio or TV programs, newspapers and press release. Simnova, as we said, is a university simulation center. So one of our first aim is the research. Effective dissemination and communication are vital for the research impact. Simnova's dissemination plan includes also publication of scientific articles, presenting results in meetings and in conferences, and also participate in research projects. As University Simulation Center, public engagement is the way to create a connection between higher education, research, and local community. We often host uh, events for school population to promote best practices using the simulation. And uh, which is our role in BEMTEL? Simnova's role in BEMTEL is to collaborate with the dissemination group in order to create and implement the project dissemination tools. But on, not only that, we will use uh, our dissemination channels to reach students, healthcare professionals, and also stakeholders. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Emiliano. And I leave the word to you. Yes. Thank you, Aurora. I would like to, to share with you uh, the slide uh, made by Carmela Rinaldi. So, um, if you stop the, your uh, sharing. Yes. I, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm trying. You see the, the screen, Aging Project, the challenge. Yes, of aging. yes, yes. I hope so. <clears throat> Thanks. In uh, 2018, uh, the uh, Italian Educational Research Minister conferred the excellence power to the Department of Transnational Medicine and the Health Science of the UPO School of Medicine. The Aging Project Excellence Award consists of a five year grant that allowed strengthening ongoing research and educational activities in the aging uh, field. So the four pillars of the aging project are interdisciplinary approach, bench to best site research, support research and education, and public engagement. The uh, ultimate goal of the aging project is translating the interdisciplinary research not just into the daily clinical practice 
but also into the organizational structure of the public healthcare system through the creation of the models for healthy care. Another important objective of our aging project is supporting research and postgraduate education activities with a PhD a program um, focused in food, health, and longevity. So uh, if you are interested in more details, please visit uh, our website, agingproject.unibo.it. Uh, uh, you can find uh, a lot of information, uh, but also uh, articles uh, and papers, uh, some uh, videos, uh, and our uh, webinars uh, uh, completely uh, free and available for, uh, for all. Um, aging project uh, is deeply uh, connected to the, the spirit and the aim of uh, BIMTEL. And uh, Carmela Rinaldi is uh, one of the coordinator of the um, aging project is also a member of the UPO dissemination uh, uh, team. Now I would like uh, to, to share um, my presentation about the dissemination group of PIMTEL. As you can see, PIMTEL has a particular organogram a scientific committee directed by uh, Professor Gianluca Emeretti, a steering committee um, uh, with, uh, coordinated by Professor Emeretti uh, and uh, me, and also a quality committee directed by, by um, the opening uh, group, uh, coordinating uh, by um, uh, the old partners, uh, in particular the university partners uh, and dissemination group. Um, on tutoring group, uh, we, we will talk on the last day. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Michela Barisone will talk about equality committing. And now uh, um, I'm going to, to talk about dissemination group. It is composed by UPO team as I mentioned, but uh, also by uh, Joanna Papatanasiu, Associate Professor of Community Psychiatry Nursing, Head of Nursing Department, uh, presented and showed by uh, Professor Evangelos earlier uh, from University of Thessaly, and she is Director of the Community Nursing Lab. Her research interests are in mental health, nursing care, chronic disease, innovative methods of nursing education and critical thinking skills. Then we have Celina Kim uh, from Munich, uh, Ludwig uh, uh, Maximilian University. She's a sociologist and a statistician. She's research associate of the, the Institute of Emergency Medicine and Management in Medicine as part of the uh, Ludwig Maximilian University. Uh, Martina Kleinschic from Zagreb, uh, Croatia, University of Applied Science in Zagreb. She is senior lecturer of the English language for first year students and Erasmus coordinator um, at the University of Applied Science in Zagreb. Then uh, Alina Boerio from uh, University George Emil Palan in Targa Muresh, Romania, and Bogdan Dino, uh, a close uh, collaborator of Dr. Bogdan uh, Paul. Bental Dissemination Group uh, task is to improve the communication plan and provide short, medium and long-term strategies to disseminate all the project uh, results of the BIMTEL. Um, our uh, task is to uh, disseminate and promote the multiply events. Um, BIMTEL uh, uh, envisions uh, uh, five uh, in virtual and in presence uh, uh, multiplier events. I mean, uh, big, I hope, conferences uh, and uh, three in uh, virtual modality, just like uh, this kickoff, and uh, uh, the last two in, in, uh, in presence. Um, we have uh, proposed uh, a provisional titles uh, to this uh, conference. The first will be um, or 
organized by our three colleagues on June 2022 with the title Innovative Management of Chronic Condition. Um, and the second would be organized by our uh, uh, two um, partners, Romanian partners, uh, with the provisional title Healthcare Simulation Technologies and telemedicine. And um, the third, uh, always virtual, uh, will be organized by uh, our Croatian colleagues. Uh, and um, its focus will be on uh, telemedicine, new insight from the Bintel Iger education. And then uh, in presence, uh, we have first uh, uh, the appointment uh, in Germany in October uh, 2024. New insights from innovative distance healthcare simulation uh, would be a great occasion. To, to, to talk about all uh, activities and the final um, uh, conference in presence in Novara um, uh, in Italy uh, at our university and the provisional title will be European Course on Management of Chronic Condition through Telemedicine. Um, so the presentation of the, uh, all the activities uh, uh, done by uh, the Bington project. Um, you know, the, the, the micro topics uh, are chronic disease, telemedicine and simulations, and we sincerely hope that e-course will be adopted by the strategic partnership universities uh, after the end uh, of our of this pilot uh, course. We sincerely hope that we'll reach a wider audience of learners and teachers, uh, apart uh, from the beneficiaries uh, of the Bintel project. But um, since Bintel has this uh, particular ambition to achieve such a significant long-term impact, our communication plan aims at the constant updating and propagation of the project results toward a large and varied audience. Uh, so uh, to promote an illicit interest, contents must be updated um, constantly through the most popular social channels, uh, through newsletter, including associated partners, of course, uh, and will not only uh, we, we will not only concentrate information in proximity of the multiplier events, but uh, we will promote uh, project results in different ways. Uh, also, depending on the target audience, in fact, we, we have to, um, we think, we believe that we have to alter, uh, alternate, so, so simplified communication with more scientific uh, communication with uh, particular and uh, specific uh, um, contents. Um, this is so because we have uh, three kinds of uh, target. We have uh, the primary target and that will be uh, our beneficiaries, our learners, 215 learners. But we have also contemporary, also a secondary target, the stakeholders. I mean, um, our associated partners and eventual future users of our recommendations, of our tools and the digital toolkit, for example, but also um, a tertiary target group, a tertiary target audience, a generic public, a scholars, pupils, young physicians, healthcare or, uh, operators that uh, maybe we, we know, we are, we are sure that um, there will be uh, a huge interest in our uh, activities, inventive activities. The communication strategies entails a, a widespread communication, external to the partnership and internal to the partnership, in uh, promoting interest and uh, debate around the, the subjects, uh, the topic of the e-course, uh, through articles, modules, virtual meetings like um, like this and the, the virtual in the future virtual meetings, uh, presentation of our project results that can uh, be organized in different uh, ways. Um, Bintel is already insecting a multilingual dissemination through its web social channels. Uh, uh, maybe if you have uh, already seen about uh, the contents in, in uh, Facebook, in our uh, Facebook page, and materials uh, available um, in several languages. This is our uh, one of the uh, 
first aim that we have to uh, gain uh, during our dissemination. Um, in fact, a large part uh, of materials will be made available uh, not, not only to the beneficiaries, uh, but also uh, to everyone free of charge. I mean, um in different phases of our uh, of the development of the project uh, initially when we will build the e-course materials uh, will uh, uh, be devoted to the beneficiaries but little by little uh, during the development uh, uh, the most part of materials will be uh, available to everyone free of, of charge and um uh, we would like to uh, update uh, or add uh, some entries on Wikipedia uh, because uh, we think that an important contribution that PIMTEL can make concern uh, clarity of terminology uh, about the uh, health simulation, about uh, augmented reality applied in uh, um, healthy uh, and health care. Um, and all these uh, uh, technical um, practices and all these new um, terminologies can be transferred by editing Wikipedia interests. Uh, uh, why not? This is, a, a, I think, it's very important um, task that we can do um, easily. But the simulation group has elaborated uh, the logo of our uh, project, open, already open a dedicated Facebook page, so please visit Instagram and already a website. In fact, this is a, a very important uh, team first intervention and a remarkable improvement to our initial project. In fact, according to the project deadlines, the creation of the platform is scheduled between the end of uh, 2022, or the end of this year, and the beginning of the next year. But the, the BIMTEL platform will also represent a lively and constant point of information and dissemination addressed both to the learners, uh, internal target and to stakeholders, uh, but um, it will be, be, it will be um, available uh, only uh, the next year. Uh, so we couldn't wait so long for the creation of a virtual place to gather information uh, on the project. So uh, the dissemination of Putin created an independent website. So please visit uh, this, um, our website um, in the future, in, in the next uh, month, uh, we will reach with other uh, materials uh, and other important links. Uh, so please suggest also the links. This is the, our um, simple, uh, but I think very clear uh, homepage. I would like to, to thank Antonio Scalogna and uh, Aurora Falcone for the uh, great work. Great job. Um, so uh, there's a long way to go before reaching uh, the, the end of 2022 and uh, beginning of 2023. And the platform, we have important appointments, uh, and our website, our social channel uh, will be uh, the, the means to uh, disseminate. Uh, um, uh, at least the two important uh, appointments. So the first uh, on June 2022, with transnational meeting in Greece and the virtual meeting for the conclusion of the first phase, the project result number one. And then on April 2022, 23, um, we will. Uh, have, we have scheduled the transnational meeting in uh, Romania and the virtual meeting for the conclusion of the crucial uh, second phase, uh, the preparation of the entire e-course. So we will present uh, virtually in uh, Romania um, the, uh, the second phase, uh, the entire uh, course with the 160 uh, hours, of course, divided in uh, two parts, uh, theoretical and uh, laboratory. Um, so uh, at the end of the uh, virtual meeting, we will present uh, the, the, the course, but also the first step of our uh, platform. 
Um, but another important appointment at the end of this year is the regards to the learners recruitment. In fact, uh, from now to March 2023, our main objectives would be the recruitment of students and new stakeholders, why not private and public stakeholders um, beyond the 27 uh, uh, associated partners that we have uh, already involved in our project. Um, so the first important um, task uh, is a uh, clear communication with the beneficiaries about the opportunities and about the internal certifications. Uh, as explained um, earlier, uh, we cannot, uh, Vimtel cannot issue any valid national or European level certification. And we are aware, we perfect uh, aware of this strong limitation. Uh, however, attending our course, uh, we know that cannot equal to, to zero on a curricular uh, level. On the contrary, each university, and specifically each department, uh, will be able to endorse the course with recognition of training credits of something uh, equal. So. Um, this is a great opportunity uh, for uh, our future learners from this strong uh, limitation. And uh, finally, uh, the Bintel final product, the digital toolkit and the intermediate project result cannot vanish with the end of the project. This is an important objective and goal of our project because uh, we have a, a, a so a high uh, ambition uh, and the platform um, must survive other five years after the end of the project in November uh, 2024. Uh, this is our commitment and because we, we know that the platform uh, can guarantee the promotion of the multilingual transferability digital toolkit um, that is the, uh, uh, the, the main the principal uh, result of our long uh, project and there are also to consider the low running costs to keep a side up and, and update it and is necessary. So it's not so difficult to, uh, to gain uh, uh, this and to reach um, this, this target. I mean, the survival of our platform that will contain at the end of the project uh, um, a lot of uh, materials. But all these dissemination activities will be monitored, uh, internal and external. Internal uh, through quantitative uh, uh, means. And just like, for example, quantitative analysis of access to our website and the future platform, the frequency of our Facebook page updating number of uh, contacts, likes, number of listeners and participants in streaming and refer to virtual meetings uh, to Zoom and YouTube platforms that will be our uh, um, main uh, platform. It's easy uh, to do. Um, so constantly with um, quarterly trend analysis of posts and access to the website, uh, future platform, downloads of materials. This is possible uh, with uh, and very easy to very easy to do. So, thanks uh, uh, for your uh, attentions uh, um, for uh, this presentation and all the uh, kickoff. Uh, now we had finished, but um, I would like to uh, open a room for questions about our activities, um, our presentation, and anticipate that uh, tomorrow the kickoff will be completely devoted to um, telemedicine. Uh, after the greetings by uh, our uh, coordinator, scientific coordinator of the project, Gianluca, Professor Gianluca Imeretti, um, we have the a brief introduction to telemedicine by uh, Professor Marco uh, Invernizzi um, from uh, DMET, the Department of uh, uh, Transnational Medicine of Europe. Then the professor uh, Francesco Gabrielli from uh, National Center, Italian National Center of Telemedicine. 
And then our uh, Romanian colleagues from the Dr. Bogdan Pop from the Department of Emergency Situations uh, and uh, uh, Professor Christian Boerin from University uh, Medicine, Pharmacy, Science and Technology, George Emil Parel in uh, Targa Muresh. And then our uh, Dr. Michela Barisone will present the quality uh, committee uh, activities. Um, so we, we will wait uh, uh, for uh, tomorrow, but meanwhile, uh, please, if you have any questions or concerns about our project, uh, please. Uh, please, Dr. Pop. Please, Dr. Pop, uh, if you. Thank you very much. Uh, just, uh, I would like just to say a few words. Uh, first of all, um, uh, it's um, uh, a pleasure and uh, an honor to be a part of this consortium, which will, uh, for sure, um, uh, take telemedicine use uh, much forward uh, with all the research and the studies that we will uh, do and. Uh, also the application uh, and uh, thank you for this very uh, interesting day uh, and uh, I'm looking forward for uh, for tomorrow and uh, for the day after tomorrow and of course for getting into the project and uh, into the work packages. Thank you again uh, to you and uh, to all the colleagues that uh, have taken the floor today. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Bogdan. Thank you. We are waiting for your presentation tomorrow and to uh, more discuss about uh, the project. But uh, I think that uh, today we will, we will have the, some important information about the project and about the possibility to, to develop more and more this uh, opportunity given us by the European Union. So. Uh, I am very happy for the today works. I thanks uh, Emiliano and Michela for the organization and all for the support. If there are some other question, any other question? I would like to thank and send uh, um, uh, greetings to Professor Boerio uh with uh, together with uh, um, professor marco lazzarovici uh, in, in this moment uh, uh, they are in the conference they are listening to and, and meanwhile in the, uh, they are in a laboratory in the university in targa Mures. they are together and test uh, uh, some uh, glasses and means for augmented reality in f care so uh is the case to send our uh, warm greetings and congratulations for the constant activities. Uh, I look forward to, to hearing from, from, from you also, Dr. Pop, in this uh, crucial days. You know, thanks very well. Thanks a lot to, to be here with, with us. Thank you also. Grazie a voi. So here we are. Um, Christy is just um, across the corner uh, and, and can't, up. yeah, setting up something. But thank you very much. <laughs> you are playing well. with this, the, 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 you are playing in this moment. No, we are really? working. We are seriously <laughs> working. You are, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. Look, I will show you, Christy. What is PlayStation football? Ah, this is it's it's football. Football, <laughs> okay. Champions League. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. see you. Looking like a welder. 
Yeah, see you. Thank you. See you tomorrow and the other days. Okay. Bye. Ciao a tutti. Hello, thanks Ciao. everybody. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. 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 Bye. Bye. Emiliano, rimanete un attimo, Emiliano Aurora e Cristina, qualcuno.